A constructor is a method that allows us to initialize an object with values when the object is created. Let's remove these and go back to the class and remove the empty string value. Now we'll get a compiler error saying that the property has no initializer and is not definitely assigned in the constructor. So let's create the constructor method below the attributes, then add the parameters we want to initialize with values. In this case, we only have a name, so we'll add name is a string. Inside the method, we'll do this to reference the calling object and the name attribute. Then we'll assign the name parameter to it. Actually, to make it clear what's going on, let's set the parameter to pname. OK, now we get a new error where we instantiate the class. That's because the constructor wants us to add a name in the parentheses. So it's just like a function call, but the constructor dictates what arguments we need. We'll do John as the name, and to confirm that it works, we'll log employee1.name to the console. OK, the name in the object was initialized with the value we gave it. Typically, the constructor's parameter names are the same as the property names, so let's quickly change pname back to name. 